ready to sling. You can run, but you'll only die tired. I'm gonna stick that gun where the art don't shine. I demand your surrender. Whoa. Keep up the sweet <laughs> slinging, kid. <laughs> The power of the Ark will be mine! Uh, it's a virtual reality game that you go inside and you have a special weapon, a gun that can sling around, hence the arc slinger, and it gets its power from the arc, which is like an electric fuel. It's, it's any sort of, I guess, coming of age story uh, to where he's just trying to figure out what kind of hero he's going to become. Hi, my name's Richard Robledo. I'm senior producer here at Big Red Button Entertainment. Spaghetti Westerns. Uh, I love spaghetti Westerns, and it was... Uh, Thankfully, my dad was a big fan of them as well, so I used to watch a lot of them as a kid. So every couple months, um, we get together and uh, the team does these uh, internal pitches where uh, it's like a bit of a game jam, you know, where people uh, submit their ideas. Um, and Richard's idea just happened to bubble to the top. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It's awesome, especially to do with this group, with this team. Uh, knowing that everybody got behind the concept and was willing to put everything they had into it to make it something special. It's, it's hard to describe the feeling. You know, I, don't, I don't really show it uh, every day, but you know, on the inside, it's, I'm certainly very proud. To think of an idea of a character, draw it out on paper, start seeing it come to life with color sketches, and then to build the character, give it voice, give it animation, and then have it be responsive to your mechanics and control, it's just magic. VR definitely brings an opportunity uh, for a new form of storytelling. And with the Ark Slinger, uh, we certainly do have a, a, a fun, humorous, and um, enjoyable story that we were able to craft into the experience. For any artist, any uh, creator, it's another, another uh, paintbrush. With regular gaming, you kind of have a disconnect between the player and the medium that they're playing in. So you have a screen that's far away. With VR, they're immersed in a completely different way. So you kind of have this 360 experience where everything that you see is related to the game world. And it's very easy to forget where you are. The Big Red Button team is composed of several veterans in the industry. Uh, we all work well together. Everybody is very professional, very good at what they do, uh, and it makes my job as a producer much easier. The, the underlying focus for the, for the team has always been to develop uh, character-based properties. So that's really the foundation of it, and uh, we're very platform agnostic. We've done stuff in mobile with our friends at Niantic Labs. Uh, we've done stuff on console. And uh, we got into VR about two years ago with some, uh, with some great opportunities that we're developing for. It's definitely a team effort to create uh, a VR experience. And if we were to take one person off the project and do it again, it would not be the same. Well, you know, one of the things that attracts uh, the talented team here is our open environment. Everybody can contribute, everybody has a say. Bob and I have been working together for 20 years now. He comes up with these, these great visuals and ideas and I'm able to kind of run with them. From concept, we create a, a digital sculpture where, um, where we build a character based on a, on a drawing. And we, ba we, we create it in all dimensions where um, this, the sculpture lives in this 3D world. My work is to make the um, character uh, animatable and I will send the rigged character to the animators so the animator can twist the controllers to create animations. VR actually puts you, immerses yourself inside the, the 3D world that we've been creating. So it creates another uh, intense layer of immersion into, uh, into that world. Hey, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Uh, I'm responsible for visual effects here. Oh, it's a great feeling to see someone uh, look at the game and say, wow, that's a really cool fire. Uh, I love seeing those kind of reactions. I, I, I love the, the, whole, the whole steampunk, uh, sci-fi, western, western uh, concept. I do all of the social media and manage the Facebook, the Twitter, things that are going on on 
Reddit and... VR is more than just sitting there in this virtual world. You need, you know, to be entertained. As I reckoned, Gold Smoke's near, and he's got his goons with him. Gold Smoke is our, well, he's our, he's our antagonist. Protagonist. Antagonist. A Gold Smoke's a bad guy. He's a, he's a blast to play. Cool. Because you get to go down here. We were extremely fortunate to get some very talented voices on this game. Valiant is uh, is our, I like to call him like kind of the the goofy doofus uh, hero uh, character who, you know, is kind of like that that guy from the 50s, or shiny burly teeth in a town full of people who have no teeth. Kid, you take the balcony. I'll enter that building and flush him out. You know, I, one of my favorite things to do is always find uh, the voices by looking at the animation and the art. And, you know, it, and I'm, I'm a big fan of all the spaghetti westerns, you know, Sergio Leone. And, you know, this has that kind of, that that vibe. I think it was described to me as like 70% western, 30% sci-fi. Oh, I'm counting on that. <laughs> it's, it's a fun game. You know, it's, it's the kind of thing that's going to appeal to uh, people of all ages. Now watch how a real slinger spins iron. I've lost my mind. I specifically remember the first artist, or the first voice actor we worked with was Jessica DeChico. And she's the voice of Angel Heart in the game. But Valiant was, you're a, a long way from being a, a, a hero, kid. And up until that point, before she started recording, Angel Heart was kind of a voice in all of our heads. Nobody knew what she was going to sound like. I'm sure I heard her voice differently than some of the other uh, team members. But when she started to record, and we just we we rec we uh, decided on the voice she was going to use, it was it was a really good feeling to start to hear uh, the characters in our game come to life. The Ark, it's been hovering over this planet for as long as light itself has shined. A new threat called Gold Smoke rose up from greed. Angel Heart is um, an ancient spirit that lives in a weapon. This is so Angel cool. Heart, <gasps> I'm shooting guys through the course of the game. They uh, their relationship develops, and she ends up. I can't give away the end, but but you'll see. <laughs> That's it. Seriously, we got it. The definition of fun western is basically this game. <laughs> oh. Death is coming for you. It's, uh, that guy Crazy. You. Like I get paid for this. It's off the hook. I'm Jason Spizak, and I'm playing enemies on the Ark Slinger. All kinds of different nationalities and voices and timbers and to give it variety so that you have a, a whole slew of villains that you have to slay. There's a, se there's a sentence, right? Slew of villains you have to slay? Yes. Because we wanted to focus the, onto the action, because we wanted to give us ourselves a broader canvas to work with, it made a lot of sense to pivot from the original to a more cartoony Warner Brothers stylized approach. Oh, that tickled! Oh, that tickled! The kid is essentially a Valiant sidekick, uh, and then due to some unfortunate circumstances, uh, Valiant's unavailable, uh, and so the uh, the kid basically has to step up and save the day. We knew we had something fun, even from the prototype that we had our friends try out. Twirling the weapon just you felt like a, just a badass gunslinger, and then we knew we were on the right track, you know? And this project came together in six months, which is a huge testament for the team. Oh, that's it? Come on, time for an epic tagline and butt kicking. Oh, that's it. Our team's very talented. We know we can make very entertaining games, very beautiful games, but then when you get another layer of top tier voices, it just brings it all together and makes it something more than we thought it would have been. As soon as you put on the, the, the device, you're in the game. That's kind of the question for VR, like, where does that new boundary come? What types of things are you doing when you hit that boundary and how can you change that into a new experience? The problem is, is I have work to do and I'm really enjoying this game. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this gun's for you. Is that good? Uh, so yeah, if my dad were still around today, I think he'd be very happy, uh, very proud that I was able to take something that he instilled in me and um, turn it into a, a piece of art. I think he'd be very proud and be, uh, would certainly pat me on the back. This is the funnest Western first-person shooter I have ever played. Yeehaw! PlayStation.